Reisinger goes rogue today. We're talking roofing, one of my favorite topics, a long lasting durable roof and how to choose a good roof. In particular, we're gonna be talking about this today. This is a metal shingle, my very first metal shingle install of all the years I've been a builder. We're gonna talk about this particular product and then I'm actually gonna spend a little time comparing this metal shingle roof to slate, to cedar and asphalt shingles. So let's get going. In particular today, we're building this house within a spitting distance of downtown Austin and the drone footage on this roof is beautiful. We're working here with Vanguard Group Architects and this French country house really fits in well with this slate look. This is manufactured by Edco and this is their Aero line. And check out this curved eave we've got here and we were actually able to roll the metal shingles to get that rolled eave look. Such a pretty house, I love this detail. I've never done this roof detail before. Okay, so this shingle in particular, this is a very lightweight product. This only weighs about 90 pounds per square, and this is meant to give us the look of a slate roof. But of course, a bunch of benefits of going metal over slate. Of course, cost, this is gonna be much less costly than slate. But another big benefit of this roof over slate is weight. This weighs 90 pounds per square, that's 100 square feet, whereas a slate roof is gonna be 10 times that, you know, maybe 800 to 1,000 pounds per square. So the other house that I'm doing that has a slate roof, I needed to engineer that and build that. I've got very beefy framing under there to account for the weight of slate, whereas this roof, brand new construction here, but you could actually use this on a retrofit. Now, what are the other benefits of metal? I love metal because it's gonna give you some reflectivity and radiant barrier benefits as well if you have an air gap underneath the roof, and that's, of course, your best practice. Let's, and let's take a second as we're talking about that and talk about the install here. So underneath this metal shingle, we've got a cedar breather membrane that's made by Benjamin Obdike, basically a 3D mesh that's gonna space it off the roof. And then underneath, underneath that, instead of a standard underlayment, we're actually using an ice and water shield over the entire roof. Now that's a detail I wanna use in the south, especially when I've got uh, a conditioned attic underneath. I basically have spray foam right underneath uh, the roof decking here. So there's no airflow underneath the roof. I wanna get airflow here right underneath the shingles. You wouldn't necessarily use that if you're in the north, however. If you had a standard vented roof in the north, Another underlayment choice I would consider is Delta Fox, or if you wanted this um, roof where you've got it spaced over top with some, uh, with some air gap under there, you could also check out Delta Trella. I've got another metal roof video using Delta Trella. I'll put a link in the description of that one. But let's talk about this over some other choices as well. You know, you could use a metal shingle that looks like a cedar shingle, and a big benefit there is now you've got a class A fire warranty with this metal. Whereas anytime you've got cedar, you've gotta be worried about fire if you're in a wildfire zone. Let's talk about looks. Now this is a painted shingle. It has a Kynar finish on here, what they call PVDF. And that's basically a fancy word for a special coating that's really high tech on the outside here, but it is a paint finish. Now this manufacturer in particular has a 30 year warranty for paint fade, and this really is a top of the line paint, so I think you're gonna go a long time with this looking really good. If you look at it up close, it's not a great fake. You know, you can see this kind of painted line here to mimic uh, the different slate uh, pieces, but from the air, from the drone shots, or even from the street, I'll tell you, we're gonna fool nine out of 10 people walking up to this house. They're gonna think it's a slate roof. Very impressive fake from a distance. Okay guys, uh, last thing I wanna compare this to is asphalt shingles. You know, that's predominantly the shingle, or pardon me, the roof that's used all over America, whether it's a re-roof or a new construction. I'm not a huge asphalt shingle fan. Of course, anytime a hailstorm goes through, you're gonna replace that asphalt shingle. On, a, on the other hand, a roof like this, a metal roof or a metal shingle roof, it's gonna take hail really well. And the other thing about this roof, I think that's gonna do particularly well with hail, even if you had a massive hailstorm, you know, golf ball or, or maybe even baseball sized hail, because this has a modeled look to it, you've got that stamp pattern in there already. If we did get some small dents in this, I think they'd really go away and you'd have a hard time seeing them, especially as you kind of sight down that roof. You don't have that perfectly smooth look that you might have with a standing seam roof that didn't have styrations. So this roof I think is gonna take hail no problem. In a small hailstorm you'd never see anything. In a really big hailstorm, I think any small pockmarks would get totally hidden on this. 
Guys, I'll put a link to the manufacturer for this one below. They're not a sponsor. I just thought this was a really cool roof. And my client picked this one out for his French country house. I've got a really smart client who did a ton of research. And so far, this roof has gone on beautifully. Guys, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on Rising or Goes Rogue.